move now to the east of the continent to Kenya to have a look uh, at how the market has been doing there and if we look at the NEC yesterday uh, one percent down to four five seven three and uh, stocks fell for a third day in a row and the main uh, uh, drag down there if you like was uh, East African breweries it's a big stock and therefore when a big stock like that trades down or up it does affect the market more than say in Johannesburg where the market is bigger with more companies but uh, and the shilling was down 0.3 uh, percent there so uh, two drops there on the two indicators that we look at let's go to Kenya now for the market update from there and it's Samuel Gichoi who is head of business development at NIC Securities morning Samuel uh, let's start with that uh, EABL East African breweries beginning the week on a low. Uh, pressure began selling uh, that share on Friday and followed through into yesterday. Well, yes, um, they, they had a, quite a bit of pressure on their top line and that uh, really affected the, 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 the company's performance. Uh, we saw, I think, a 13% increase in uh, production costs, 221% in uh, finance costs as they took on more debt to uh, take up controlling stake in the in, in Kenya Breweries Limited. And so that really um, hit them. And I think the fact that they also brought down their dividends and considering the fact that Kenya's investors are very, very dividend oriented. And uh, that means that if a, a company cuts the dividend, which they brought down by about 18%, will definitely have a negative effect on the stock's price. And I think that was um, one of the main uh, reasons for seeing that, you know, that's sellout. So I think EABL um, going forward obviously we do expect that being a very defensive company and being one of the you know the biggest on the market will definitely um, begin to see the advantages of those increased costs begin to hit their bottom line but for now we are seeing the effect on the market. Yes, yes as you say the dividend was two shillings fifty now down to one shillings fifty that's quite a big drop as you say for a, a market that is sensitive to uh, to uh, dividends. Uh, was this big finance charge which sounds very big was that a surprise to the market had they warned about it? Well, they hadn't warned about it, but uh, we, we did know that uh, they had taken on uh, more debt to acquire, I think, a 20% stake in Kenya Brewers Limited. Uh, they've been uh, on an acquisition spree also in Tanzania, which definitely must have uh, required quite a bit of financing. And therefore, I think that uh, that was largely expected. Um, and, but I think most, of in, most investors were buying into the regional ex expansion and the expectation that the regional expansion will start to hit uh, their, 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 bottom, their top and bottom line, really. And I think that's going to happen going forward, considering that um, it's a capital-intensive process, which ov obviously will start to pay dividends uh, somewhere down the line. Right, and let's look at the banking sector where there's been a continued activity. It's been popular with uh, foreign investors in particular. Uh, Barclays there were down, uh, or, or rather up 1.24%, National Bank up 2.59%. Uh, influence there on the market. Well, I think uh, Barclays uh, uh, announcing an 8% increase in profit was a bit of a disappointment. But the thing is, Barclays has not been growing that much in the last few years. And uh, therefore, we didn't expect anything out of the ordinary. I think uh, what investors are seeing and are expecting is to see much more growth on the other banks, especially the locally owned, locally ran banks like Kenya Commercial Bank, which we have seen you know, on a rally and is still super bullish uh, in, t in most, um, in, in most uh, analysts' uh, projections. I think uh, we are also looking at Cooperative Bank, which hasn't really been affected by the by the by the recent bullish uh, turn on the market, and therefore we expect that if we do see very good results from that, and uh, with cooperative, it's just that they don't have that much of a float, or rather, whatever is floated is owned by the cooperatives, and they don't trade very much, which might be an issue of liquidity uh, on the market that has been pulling it down. And therefore, the blocks that you know the foreign investors would want are not really available. But yes, the banking sector is now the point of focus. We expect that once KCB announces, equity will announce soon after or possibly on the same day. And therefore, that is going to cause some excitement on the market. 
interesting sector always in that economy. And then Safaricom, we always talk about that share. It's always worth talking about, but steady at the moment. Well, yes, Safaricom has stated they have uh, very good uh, news uh, coming out of the Mshuari uh, product, and that product has really been taken up very well by investors. And uh, I think 8% of the M-Pesa subscribers have taken up Mshuari, which means that uh, you know, getting to about $3 billion in a very short period of time uh, in deposits is an amazing um, change. We initially thought that most people would get on it because they would see the opportunity to borrow, but it is beginning to look like a savings tool, and that has really challenged the banking sector, and I believe that that's going forward, that is going to really bring in a lot of unbanked, uh, unbanked Kenyans onto the platform, and it's going to make banking services accessible, which is a great, great uh, turn of events for the economy, especially in this telecommunications age. And I believe that uh, Safaricom has taken the right path. They, are, they continue to do better than all their peers in terms of innovation and in terms of uh, the prize war, which I think they have literally won. And uh, so we are seeing a lot of foreign interest on that, and it is actually keeping the share price strong at 555, and we do expect it to hold at that point.